And one of the things you want to do before climbing, when you inspect your climber, all the, all the different parts, well, you test the gaff itself by using a cutout test. On the climber cutout test, after we inspect the gaff for shape, sharpness, what you can do is put the gaff on your foot with just buckle the bottom strap. We're gonna take our climber, take gaff, stab it in the pole lightly, at a keep the knee out at a good angle. And we're gonna bring our knee into the pole completely. Okay? And push down. Gaff should cut in the wood when it's shaped properly. Otherwise, if, it, if it's dull or it's going to give you problems, it'll probably cut out. If the gaff slides out of the wood, then you need to work on it, okay? Probably cause you to cut out. You can see where this one cut in. Went in deeper as I pushed on it. Put pressure, even with your knee at the pole. So that's, that'll work for a properly shaped gaff. And some other things we want to do before climbing poles, guys, is you want to inspect your poles first. Always inspect them before climbing. When you walk up to a pole, first thing you do is look at it. See if you see any odd angles, uh, poles leaning. Try to figure out why, if it's broken into ground or just leaned over. We can look at birthmark where it's set. That'll give you an idea on the depth, okay? Sometimes grade changes, there's construction work, things like that. You know, make sure your pole's plenty deep so that it's stable. As you're approaching the pole also, you wanna look up toward the top for uh, obstacles. Check your hardware, your pole grounds, anything that can be a hazard to you, okay? Check your power lines. Look at telephone cable, TV cable. You may have uh, conduit or pipes running up and down the pole. So there's a lot of things to look at and it's make your decision on where and how to climb the pole, okay? Now when we test the pole, we want to, there's two pole tests you can use. One's a sound test. Did y'all do this? Do the sound test, what we'll do is, you know, the pole usually rots right at ground level. 